the three states of matter are solid liquid and gas as you all have studied the properties of solid liquid and gas in your previous class here we will going to revise all those properties first solid states solids have a fixed mass or we can say definite mass a fixed volume which will not going to change and a fixed shape shape also will not going to change of the solid empty spaces between the particles are negligible why is it so in solids the molecules are closely packed and there are no intermolecular spaces between them so there are no vacant spaces because of the closely packed arrangement of the particles in the solid solids have a rigid structure and they cannot be compressed if we try applying pressure on a solid for example rock then there will be no compression fourth point does not change its shape easily why it's not changing the shape because it has high force of attraction between the molecules and the molecules are closely packed giving it a fixed shape fifth point large force of attraction there is large force of attraction between the molecules in solids the molecules are attracted towards each other with a maximum force and hence they have high densities or the solids are very heavy and dense because of this seventh point do not show the property of diffusion the solids are not showing the property of diffusion what do you want to understand by the diffusion diffusion is a process where molecules of a material move from an area of higher concentration to an area of a lower concentration until it has reached reached an equilibrium i repeat again diffusion is a process where molecules of a material move from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration until it has reached equilibrium diffusion will not going to take place in the case of the solids due to maximum force of attraction between molecules and closely packed molecules which is making them rigid and with a definite shape i hope this is clear to you all next point is we will be explaining the property of solid with respect to the kinetic molecular theory this is also known as kinetic theory of matter which we have just now did the particles are closely packed in solids and there are large attractive forces between them thus there will be negligible empty spaces between the particles hence the particles have low kinetic energy and they cannot move from one position to another the kinetic molecular theory states that in the solids the particles are closely packed and there are large attractive forces between them therefore the particles have low kinetic energy because there there is negligible empty spaces and solids cannot move from one position to another let us understand the properties of solid by looking at these diagrams solids the molecules present in the solids 
are closely packed due to the maximum force of attraction between the molecules. Solids as we have discussed already, they do not diffuse, they do not mix up. For example, NaCl is there, sodium chloride and iron sulphide. These two are solids and they will not go into mix with each other and they will not go into form one even mixture. Third is there are a number of free surfaces means infinite number of free surfaces are there in the solids. Now what are free surfaces? Free surfaces are the exposed surfaces to the atmosphere. In solids so many surfaces are there they are all exposed to the atmosphere. So solids can have the infinite number of the shapes they can have a number of shapes they can have and infinite number of the exposed surfaces infinite number of the free surfaces they can have solids cannot be compressed because the molecules are attracted to each other with the maximum force and these molecules are closely packed Hence, there are no vacant spaces between the molecules. So, they cannot be compressed. The second physical state of matter is the liquid state. Here are the properties of the liquid states. A liquid has a definite mass and volume. Means, it has fixed mass and fixed volume they will not going to change but liquid does not have definite shape they don't have any fixed shape as they take the shape of the container in which they are kept liquids have only one free surface i already explained you free surface means exposed surface to the atmosphere as we know the liquids take the shape of the container so only free surface will be one only or one exposed surface of the liquid. The vacant spaces between the molecules in a liquid are more as compared to the solids. Why? Because the attractive forces between the molecules of a liquid are lesser than in the solids. Because of this reason, they have the lower densities as compared to the solids. On heating, its molecules move apart, hence the liquids expand on heating. Heat results in the weakening of the force of attraction between the molecules. Hence, the space between the molecules will going to increase. And the kinetic energy of the molecule increases. Eighth point is it shows the property of diffusion. Now let us understand the property of diffusion in liquids with an experiment. In this A container or the A beaker having 50 ml of milk and B beaker having 50 ml of water. Now now we have poured the contents of both A and B into the C beaker. So milk and water is mixed in a beaker. What you are going to observe? When we mix the two liquids that is water and milk together, the molecules of water occupy the spaces between the milk. And hence the intermixing of the two different types of molecules lead to the formation of a complete mixture. In other words, we can say that molecules of milk have diffused into the water. This shows the property of diffusion in liquids. 
So we can explain the liquid state on the basis of kinetic molecular theory as the molecules have higher kinetic energy and there are larger distances between the molecules. Therefore, the attractive forces between the molecules are less and hence the molecules can move from one place to another means liquid can flow. Now we will going to understand the third state of matter that is gas. They have fixed mass. The gas has fixed mass or definite mass. Mass will not going to change of the gas. They have neither definite shape nor definite volume. They don't have any particular shape or any fixed volume. They occupy the whole space available. Why they occupy the whole space available? Because the forces of attraction between the molecules are negligible. Hence, there will be large empty spaces in the molecules and they will have lot of kinetic energy and they will move randomly in whole space. They have no free surface means no exposed surfaces because they have negligible attractive forces between them and hence they occupy the whole space and randomly move in all the directions. So we can say they have no exposed surfaces to the atmosphere. Now this, they show the property of diffusion. Now this can be understood by taking an example of the incense sticks. If we take the incense sticks and burn them in one corner of room, we will observe that fragrance of the incense sticks spread throughout the room. Why is it so? Because the volatile compounds given out by incense sticks, they diffuse into the air and spread in all the directions, which shows the property of diffusion of gases. Next is low densities as compared to the solids and liquids. Why low densities? Because they have negligible attractive forces and the molecules will keep on uh, randomly moving in all the directions and they have large empty spaces and hence their densities will be least as compared to solids and liquids. They have high kinetic energy in the molecules, gaseous molecules. They have very high movement molecules. They have no effect on gravity or the motion of the molecules. There is no effect of the gravity on the motion of the molecules because they are having very high kinetic energy and they will occupy whole space available to them. The molecules will exert the pressure, equal pressure in all the walls of the container. Gaseous molecules are highly compressible due to large empty spaces. Now this point can be understood by taking an example of aerated drinks. Aerated drinks have gas in compressed form. Aerated, aerated drinks have carbon dioxide in the compressed form. When we open them, the gas comes out in the form of bubbles. So this shows that gas can be compressed. Now this gas state can be explained on the basis of kinetic molecular theory as the molecules of the gas have high kinetic energy and there are large empty spaces between the molecules. Hence, the attractive forces between the molecules are least and the molecules will occupy whole space available to them. Students, if you keep naphthalene balls in cupboard for woolen clothes to keep away insects, what will you observe after a few days? If you keep naphthalene balls for some days, then its size get reduced. Why has this happened? This happens due to a phenomena known as sublimation. 
Now we will understand about sublimation. Normally, solid transforms into a liquid on heating, but in sublimation, a solid directly changes to gaseous state on heating or exposure to air. In this case, some parts of naphthalene balls converts into gas and they reduce in size. Naphthalene balls has insecticidal properties too. Means they can kill the insects. But how? Due to the naphthalene vapors formation, it takes away the insects and thus keeps our clothes safe. Students, can you define sublimation? Sublimation is the process due to which a solid directly changes into gaseous state on heating and a gaseous state directly changes into the solid state on cooling without changing into liquid state. There are two very important terms in sublimation. First, sublime and second, sublimate. Sublime is the gaseous form of the solid and sublimate the solid which is obtained from the gaseous state on cooling. Please remember these two terms. Sublime is the gaseous form of the solid. Sublimate is the solid obtained from the gaseous state on cooling. Example of sublimate solids are ammonium chloride, iodine, solid carbon dioxide, naphthalene or termed as moth balls. So, sublimation is a direct conversion of a solid into gaseous state and vice versa without changing into the liquid state. I hope the topics covered in part 1 and 2 from chapter 1 are clear now. Students, please do these questions which I am giving. Thank you.